Mastering Feedback, The Art of Communication Hello, dear learners. Today, we are diving deep into a vital aspect of workplace culture, particularly under teamwork and collaboration, effective communication. We're going to explore the nuanced dance of giving and receiving feedback. As you step into English-speaking work environments, understanding how to give and accept feedback becomes pivotal. Let's get started. Feedback is the bridge that connects your current performance to your potential. It helps individuals recognize their strengths and areas for improvement, grow professionally and personally, strengthen relationships by opening channels of communication, When providing feedback, it's essential to be 1. Constructive. Instead of saying, this report is messy, try, I think the report could benefit from a more organized structure. 2. Specific. Highlight exact instances. For instance, in the third paragraph, adding a real-life example might clarify your point, is better than, your points are unclear. 3. Timely. Offer feedback soon after the event, while it's fresh in everyone's mind. 4. Balanced. Along with areas of improvement, also point out the positives. Receiving feedback can sometimes be challenging. Here are ways to accept it productively. 1. Listen actively. This means fully concentrating, understanding, and responding to what the other person is saying. 2. Avoid being defensive. Remember, feedback is for your growth. 3. Ask for clarification. If something isn't clear, ask. It's okay to seek examples or further details. 4. Reflect and act. Use the feedback to plan your next steps and make improvements. A popular technique is the feedback sandwich. 1. Positive statement. Start with a positive note, highlighting what the person did well. 2. Constructive feedback. This is where you present the area that needs improvement. 3. Positive conclusion. Finish by reinforcing a positive aspect or expressing confidence in their ability to improve. For example, I loved how you've structured the initial part of the presentation. However, the section on market analysis could use more detailed data. Overall, you're on the right track, and I believe with these tweaks, it will be fantastic. Mastering the art of giving and receiving feedback is not just about improving performance but also about nurturing healthy, constructive relationships in the workplace. We hope this video has shed light on this essential skill. Remember, feedback is a gift. Embrace it and use it as a stepping stone to greatness. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.